Imagine for a moment you're at a company event. The CEO suddenly points at you asking for your take on a project. Heart racing, palms sweaty, do you freeze or seize the moment? Hey, I'm not here to scare you, but let's be real. This can happen. And whether it's in a meeting, a random social event, or yes, even on a date, mastering impromptu speaking is a total game changer. You might think, why do I need to be good at this? I'm not a TED speaker. But guess what? People who nail impromptu speaking, they're seen as more competent and trustworthy. So it's not just about impressing your boss. It's about nailing first impressions, making connections, and yeah, getting that edge over others. Remember when we all thought those debate club members in school were nerdy? Turns out they were onto something. This isn't about becoming Shakespeare overnight. It's about harnessing a power we all have and turning those unexpected moments into opportunities. Opportunities to shine, to lead, and to connect. So ready to unlock the secrets of spontaneous eloquence? Stick around because we're diving deep into the world of impromptu speaking. And trust me, you won't want to miss this. Have you ever marveled at the spontaneous eloquence of guest speakers and wondered how did they do that? Impromptu speaking. Sounds intimidating, right? But did you know that the ability to speak off the cuff can transform your personal and professional life? The art of impromptu speaking isn't about last minute ramblings, but rather the skill to convey ideas, smoothly and confidently with little or no preparation. Managers who are adept at impromptu speaking tend to be perceived as more competent and trustworthy by their peers. And it's not just about the workplace. The ability to communicate effectively and spontaneously affects our social lives, our personal relationships, and even our self-worth. Dr. Philip Zimbardo, renowned psychologist and researcher, found that those with the skill to speak spontaneously tend to experience less social anxiety and establish more meaningful connections with others. But why is impromptu speaking so important today, especially in our digitized world? It's because even in the age of texting and emails, face-to-face -face communication remains irreplaceable. Dr. Albert Moravian, in his groundbreaking work in the late 1960s, introduced the 73855 rule. This rule proposes that in face to face interactions, 55% of the message comes from body language, 38% from the tone of voice, and only 7% from the actual words spoken. So the next time you text, remember, you're missing out on 93% of the communication potential. Impromptu speaking isn't just about the words we say. It's about the human connection. It's about bridging gaps, breaking barriers, and fostering understanding. Ready to continue on this journey of understanding the art and science of impromptu speaking? We've all been there. That heart-pounding moment when you're unexpectedly thrust in the spotlight asked to speak, and you have mere moments to prepare. Oh, first things first, breathe. Just breathe. Our heart rate, which spikes when we're caught off guard, can genuinely be tempered with controlled, deep breaths. It's not just cliche, it's science. Now let's set the stage. Hargi's work in 2010 stressed the power of a good introduction. Kick off with a sentence or two that brings everyone on the same page. It'll set the tone and give your listeners an anchor. But what's after the intro? Ever heard of Miller's magical number? George A. Miller's 1956 research indicates our short-term memory can process about seven chunks of information at once. So be choosy, pick the most important points. One of the best tools in your impromptu speaking kit? Stories, analogies. Haven's 2007 research shows us that a good story can make your points 22 times more memorable. That's right, 22 times. 
So instead of droning on with facts, paint a picture, weave a narrative. Speaking isn't just about words. It's a two-way street. Engage, ask questions, seek feedback. It's a conversation, not a monologue. Your voice can be an instrument. Dr. Morton Cooper's work in 1988 teaches us the power of vocal variety. Mix it up, vary your tone, and keep it dynamic. And as your impromptu moment nears its end, how do you wrap up? Murphy et al.'s 2011 study from the Journal of Applied Psychology reminds us of the potency of a strong conclusion. It leaves a lasting mark, reinforcing your message, ensuring better recall. Impromptu speaking can be daunting, but remember, every time you take on the challenge, you grow, you learn, you hone a skill. And with every word, every story, every interaction, you're not just communicating, you're connecting. So the next time you're on the spot, dive in, share, engage, inspire. As we wrap this up, I'm reminded of a fascinating study by Dale Carnegie Training, which reported that a staggering 85% of financial success can be attributed to skills in human engineering, your personality and ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. It's clear that mastering communication, especially impromptu speaking, is not just a nice to have, it's a necessity. And you know what's more interesting? According to a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology by Fisk et al. 2007, our ability to communicate directly influences how others see our warmth and competence. So every time you engage in impromptu speaking, you're not just sharing thoughts, you're sculpting perceptions. It's natural to feel apprehensive, but remember the study by Albert Meribian? He found that 55% of communication is body language, 38% is the tone of voice, and only 7% is the actual words spoken. So even when your words fail you, your confidence, your tone, your presence can do the talking. Your journey in mastering impromptu speaking is a combination of knowledge, practice, and a belief in your unique perspective. Embrace every opportunity, every challenge, and let your voice be heard. And always remember, it's not just about the words you utter, but it's about the impact they create. Stay curious, stay courageous, and above all, keep exploring. All right, Explorers, have you ever wondered why some people effortlessly navigate conversations while others struggle? A study by McIntyre, Knowles, and Clemont in 1997 from the Journal of Language and Social Psychology discovered that confidence plays a pivotal role in one's ability to communicate effectively. And guess where you can build that confidence and hone your communication abilities? You got it, Explorning Academy. Think of Exploring Academy as your personalized communication mentor. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, speech is power. And guess what? He wasn't just being philosophical. Research from the Annual Review of Psychology by Anderson, John, Keltner, and Kring in 2001 supports this, emphasizing the incredible impact of verbal expression on personal and social influence. That's right. But here's the catch. To wield this power... You have to practice and refine it. And where better than the Exploring Academy? Join Exploring Academy, our community. Dive deep into the world of effective communication and watch as doors you never knew existed begin to open. Remember, words have power, but using them effectively? Well, that's an art. And Exploring Academy is where you can master that art. So I just want to give you a massive thanks for sticking with me to the end. Well done. We got through this roller coaster of communication insights. So you know in this digital age, your time is the most precious thing that you can give. And I truly appreciate you spending it here with us today. If you found any nugget of wisdom, any value from today's lesson, I've got a small favor to ask. First up, smash that subscribe button. It not only supports us, but ensures that you don't miss out on all the amazing content we have lined up. 
second, become a part of our ever-growing family, dive into our community, share your thoughts, experiences, highs, lows, everything in between. Because together we learn, we grow, and we shine. And remember, every like, every comment, every share makes a world of difference. It's how we spread the word, share the knowledge, and build a community where everyone thrives. So definitely share this channel with anybody you think would like to learn better communication skills. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep exploring. And let's make communication the superpower it deserves to be. Thanks again. You're awesome. Bye for now.